Hey, what's up, everybody? Frank is off of here. And how's it going? I'd say good morning to everybody, but uh, this video will probably be up a little later this afternoon. Uh, normally, I don't do videos like this, but uh, since this happened just recently, just today, and uh, they did some damage to our property and stuff like that, over to our yard and all over town, we just had some bad weather. Like we had two weeks ago during the 4th of July. Kind of a repeat except the difference was that this was in the morning. And yes, I do have a little bit of a cold for those who, who don't, can't understand me right now. But uh, anyway, so I want to show you guys some of the sights and sounds anyway <clears throat> of the damage done but caused by this morning's uh, storm. That's probably started probably, I don't know, I'm guessing maybe around 7 o'clock in the morning. It lasted to, to about 10, about three hours. And you can probably hear people sawing in the background and all that stuff. Well, I'll show you this. First, I'll show you our yard. It knocked down a, a branch that uh, pretty much, uh, I don't even know where it was. If that was up here or if that was up wherever it was, which tree it was on. <laughs> I'm thinking it was probably. Probably this one right here, this tree. And then, well, they pretty much tore down our clothesline. We hardly ever use a clothesline anyway, but still, this clothesline's been up for for a long time and has never been knocked down before, as far as I can remember. First time ever. I guess it's the first time for everything. I mean, mostly here in our yard, it was mostly branches and stuff that were knocked down. Just tree branches and stuff. So nothing too severe. But goddamn, you know, it's Mother Nature can be a bitch sometimes. It totally wrecked our garden. Not that this garden was really going anywhere anyway, but I mean you can tell that I don't know how mom and dad are gonna get this garden to look the way it looked before. That's bad. And then you can see over here way down there it's a tree it knocked down a lot of trees again just like the last one in fact I think this one was a lot of or was worse a lot worser yes I said worser oh because look at all this oh, all this damage poor garden I don't know if it's going to ever be the same man I think the worst other than that, other than wrecking our picnic table here, for us, our, this tree right here with the woodpecker on it was never like that. It was actually up, you know, it was actually like standing up, not bending down. So we'll probably chop that one down later on. So I'm going to show you guys, take you around town and show you some of the sights and sounds of our bad weather and hopefully I don't get rained on. Okay. As you can see there's some people over here. More branches that fell. I don't know how well you can see because it's still kind of dark. But more branches around. And this tree here I, I'm pretty sure they were trying to grow it. It was right over here, and it flew all the way over here, right off its roots. And look how bad the yard is. And these people over here, they take good care of their yard. Better than I've ever seen a lot of people take care of their yard. It normally doesn't look like that. But yeah, I feel bad for them because they, they work hard on their yard nice. All to get damaged in the end. And then another tree fell. Johnny! Man, that's pretty bad over there. The trees. That's where our cop used to live. As you see, there's some damage done over here, of course. A neighbor of mine. Pretty much all practically neighbors. But yeah. I'm sure these are sawed off, though, but. Man. Taking our shade away, that's for sure. 
But other than that, I mean, there's just been a lot of damage. It's just been gradual. People saw down on trees, whatever, after the accident, after the storm, and gotta figure out. Mostly just trying to figure out what the hell to do. Because we're all, right now, as far as I know, we're all out of power. But, man. <laughs> But I'm going to head to my grandpa's place, well, my parents, other places they own, and see what other damages happen, because I'm pretty sure there's some damages over there. I'd be surprised when nothing happened. I'd be really surprised. So, that's where we'll go next. Yeah, mostly over here you can tell that it just, just branches and stuff that fell on people's yards and kind of made their yard look damaged a little bit. But, then over here, more branches, of course. So, I mean, it's not all bad, but, like, look over here. Tree branches. Other than just sticks, you know. It would be different if it was just all sticks, but it's not all sticks. It's branches and stuff. Yards and trees that are fell again. <coughs> that are basically snapped in half, like, right over here. Right over here. Yeah, trees that have been here for, for a long period of time. They're over here. This place get, always gets it the worst. But I think, <clears throat> I think this time it got the worst compared to last time because we got a storm like this on July 4th and it was not nearly as bad. It was bad, but not nearly as bad as this, this time. It was literally big trees uh, the size of these things that pretty much crumpled down to the ground, taken from their roots, and pretty much gone astray, as the old saying goes. I mean, that's just bad. <laughs> Point where that in the neighbor's yard. So you can't, I mean, you know, you can't really blame Mother Nature, even though, you know, you, you, you could if you wanted to, I guess. You know, but even when we were reading the forecast, they never said that we were supposed to get this much rain or this much damage or whatever. So I don't know. It, it kind of just hit us. You know, we weren't really prepared for it. You know. And it's not every day that a storm can get bad over here, you know, where I, you know, in Greenbush here. But <clears throat> I just figured I, I'd like to finally actually document this because. You know, I should have done this the last time, but because doing it while you're getting over a cold, you know, too, kind of sucks a little bit. Not really the way. It's not really the way you ought to do it, but <clears throat> got a lot of water in the streets too. Holy crap! Yeah, more. More branches. I don't know if it's just unbelievable. I heard over <clears throat> at my brother's place. My brother's place. It's, it, 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 you got a couple of pine trees that knocked down. Said one of them hit, a, hit the house. So, man, this is just bad over here too. Holy crap! That's why I just have that funny feeling we're getting close to Grandpa's place. I'd be really surprised if there wasn't that much damage. <laughs> but, uh, let's go check it out. Well, we're here at Grandpa, or at, well, my parents' other place that they own. And besides the damage that, did, that it did to these people's trailer houses, to their trailer house, kind of wrecked their, part of their trailer house at the bottom anyway, where it's insulated, it's supposed to be anyway. There really wasn't that much damage over here in uh, my parents' other yard, the place that they owned. It used to be my grandpa's place before he passed away, way back in 2004. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. I mean, it's not too pretty either, but it's not nearly as bad as it could have been, I guess. But I guess the thing about here is that he doesn't really have a whole lot of trees. I mean, they're pretty much spaced out. So they're not all together. Like, 
you know, in a row or whatever, they're supposed to get spaced out. Like over here and stuff. The worst that pretty much happened besides branches, as far as I can say. <laughs> it's right over here. Or by this truck. Other than that, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Well, let's continue walking around town and see if we see anything else. Got some damage over here. <coughs> oh. <coughs> God bless me. Oh. Anyway, more damage down over here. Another neighbor's. I don't know if it's like a lot by here, but another part of town. Oh, okay, it's just the damage over here, too. Not much, it's just a tree. But over here, holy crap, though. Okay, we'll get to here. The water here, too. The stream. Incredible. <laughs> I mean, I figured it was going to be bad, but I didn't think it was going to be this bad. But I'm going to take down all the trees from the block. Man. And as you can tell, you know, a lot of people enjoy this weather because all that mud and rain that happened or whatever. I came our way. People driving through the, the yard here. Just like that. <laughs> There's no room to go through the trees, so or the alleyway. Wow. That's crazy. And this is another area that was damaged. But I'm really, really surprised that that this would even happen again because normally normally around here you don't get bad weather or extreme bad weather where the whole city loses power, you know, and we're all kind of waiting for it to get turned back on. Because that's just the thing, you know, it's, it's uh, we've never really ever, ever had a tornado over here. Hey, or anything like that. Or damage. There's pretty bad in the back. Let's see, but if you get further over here, it gets worse. So, and that's the thing over here, we've never <coughs> ever had a tornado or nothing. Oh, that over here. Knocked down. Well, it's gotten bad to the point where they even bent down the swipe pole. The swipe pole was never bent like that before. But now it is. Man. Now, of course, the grocery store is closed. This store, I swear, closes for every every time there's an excuse, they always have to close for every reason. I mean, yeah, maybe the freezers aren't working, all that. But you still stay open even if you're out of power. But yeah, this is the tree that's been over here forever. I finally came down the same thing just like over grandpa's kind of what happened last time. D dug up the roots from the ground. And it just, just definitely did some damage, that's for sure. Yeah, that's crazy. Something you weren't normally expect around here. But uh, I think that's pretty much all the stuff I can show you for now. It's kind of hard to film and you know, people looking at you, staring at you, and wonder what you're doing. but. That kind of gets to the point anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, 
We'll see you next time. Trick sausage show. Bye.